Here, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to make the moss stitch. To create the moss stitch, we need to start with an even number of stitches. And so I am gonna do a rather small swatch and just chain 10. Okay, this is a very simple repeat, and so I think uh, even a swatch this small is going to work for demonstrating and also practicing how to do this stitch. Um, you're going to start by skipping a chain, and in the second chain from the hook, put a slip stitch. So bring it through and then bring it right through the, the uh, loop you had on your hook. Next, we're going to half double crochet. and then slip stitch again. As a matter of fact, we're going to finish our very first row simply by alternating half double crochets and slip stitches. Okay, so this is the last stitch in row one and you should end with a slip stitch. Then to start uh, row two, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to slip stitch into the loop that came off of our half double crochet and then half double crochet into our slip stitches. So we're going to completely alternate what we were doing before. And again, we should be finishing with a slip stitch because we started with an even number of chains. So we should have an odd number of stitches now because we skipped a chain at the very beginning. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that in the next row. Let's chain one and turn. And let's start with a slip stitch and then half double crochet. Everything looks very even now because I've done two rows of this alternating pattern, but every other row it will look a little bit um, uneven possibly. But as long as you're putting the half double crochets into the top of the slip stitches and putting the slip stitches into the top of the half double crochets, you should be pretty good. Okay. So that's three rows total. Let's do one more. Let's chain one and starting immediately with a, with a slip stitch, we should have one, then half double crochet stitch, two, let's keep alternating that, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. This is actually turning out really beautifully. I really like the diagonal line we get in the yarn in this. It, it does form a cluster. So I'm going to do a few more uh, rows of this so we make a little square swatch and then you can really see this texture. Okay, here is our moss stitch with a few more repeats. As you can see, this texture would be lovely for all kinds of projects and it actually turns out a little bit lacier than you might expect. Thanks for learning this with me.